everybody welcome back to my channel once again for those who are new my name is Daniela so I just want to say that I'm very very happy because my semester is officially over which means that I have more time for YouTube um, I will be trying to post once a week because I still have to go to work and to take care of some other things so I think that once a week is good for me right now and today's video is about a review on the LA Girl Pro Powder HD High Definition Setting Powder. I mentioned this in my whole video, which was my last video. I will leave a card in case you are interested. But yeah, I just said that I got this and that I never heard anyone talking about this product. I mean, I knew that it exists, but it's not something you hear people talk about if that makes sense. I mean, if you Google it or if you search reviews on YouTube, Makeup Ali and all that stuff, there will be reviews, but it's not something you hear people talk about. So I never heard anything about this and I got it not knowing anything about it. And if you watched my whole video, you know that I said that I wanted to try a new translucent powder because Gok Makeup changed the formula and all of that stuff and I knew that the other powder reflect um, yeah it reflected flash photography and it was kind of drying so I really wanted to try a new translucent powder so I will be talking about this powder how I feel about it the pros and the cons so maybe you know you were wondering if you would like to get this or I don't know, but like I mentioned this, um, you know, because I mentioned this in my previous video, I just thought that it would be nice if I told you how I felt. So let's get started with the review. Okay, so I will start by talking about the good things, you know, the things that I like about this translucent powder. And I think there are two things that I like. One is that it makes your skin look flawless you know, very, very smooth, your makeup lasts a very long time, like, I had my makeup, you know, full face makeup for 12 hours, and my skin didn't look shiny, or, you know, like, you can see that you have been wearing makeup for several hours, it didn't look like that with this translucent powder, so I really like that. Um, the other things that I like, what was the other thing? Ah, that it is transparent it is truly transparent so you can see the true colors of your concealer or your foundation that you have underneath the powder um you know when you're baking and you put the powder on top of your skin you can see the powder standing on your skin you know like white powder or just powder this doesn't happen with this product because it is invisible I don't know you can only see that your concealer is being modified but that is everything so I really like that um, now let's talk about the things that I don't like about this product and first of all I hate the smell I can't stand it um, so yeah I try to not smell it or not breathe that deeply you know when I'm applying it because it is a very weird, strong scent. Um, you cannot smell it, you know, as the day goes by, or even though when you have applied all your makeup, you cannot smell it. It's just when you open it and when you start applying it. Hate it. Um, next thing that I don't like is that this product is so drying. It is so freaking drying. I thought that my last powder was drying. No, this is drying. You know, like... The first um, time that I applied this powder and even the second time, you know, it was so dry. I set my whole face with this powder and it was so bad. I had to spray lots of fix plus on my face, didn't help. Terrible, feels terrible. I only use this to set my concealer, you know, under my eyes and my forehead, the bridge of the nose and, you know, those areas where I highlight but I don't bake because of the same reason. So yeah, I just set it with a brush because it is so freaking drying. So yeah, this, the third thing that I don't like about this powder is that, I don't know what it is, okay? But 
Other powders don't seem to show or blend as easy on top of this. I don't know why, you know, bronzer, blush, you can work on it, but highlight, you guys. I could apply the whole pan of my highlight on top of this powder and it would seem like I'm applying nothing. It doesn't show. I don't know why, so I cannot set my whole face with this powder because I like my I like my highlight and it doesn't show on top of this. And it's not like you're going to apply a cream or a liquid highlight on top of powder. So yeah, I even try to spray Fix Plus on my brush, you know, when I'm applying highlight. It looks so bad, I had to remove my makeup and start again because I don't know what it is but it doesn't show, okay, so, like, what? It's a very weird product. Um, the other thing that I don't like is that this reflects flash photography as crazy. You, It's so bad, you know, if you search translucent powder on Google, you will see pictures of Eva Longoria all over. It looks, your face will look like that with this powder. It's so bad. And it's because this is 100% silica. I didn't know anything of that, you know, even though if I would have read the ingredients, I wouldn't know that silica reflects flash photography. So you cannot wear this on a night out, or if you're taking flash photography, stay away from this. You will not like it. So I'm thinking of getting the other translucent powder that I owned previous to this one, because this is just not... I like to bake and I like to go out and take pictures with my friends and all of that. I cannot do that with this. So, yeah. I mean, for YouTube videos, looks amazing. Going out on a day time, you know, not night, not when there are not lights all over, it looks perfect. But um, even, you know, if you're standing under a light, you will see the powder. It is so sensible to light. It's terrible. Um, I'm not saying that this is a bad product. I'm just saying that it doesn't, you know, I, I don't know the word. It's just not what I'm looking for in a translucent powder. Because, like I said, I like to bake and I like to take photos. So, yeah, I will continue to use this because, you know, for daytime or YouTube videos, looks awesome, but I like to set my whole face with this as well, so yeah, would I recommend it? I don't know, it depends on what you want, if you want to bake, no, if you want it, you know, for a night out, you know, that you do your full face of makeup and you're going out with your friends, don't, um, if you have very dry skin, stay away from this, <laughs> um, it's just not what I was hoping for. And I wanted to make this review because, like I said, it's not something you hear people talk about. And maybe it's because it's not as awesome, you know, as other translucent powders. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because, you know, maybe you watch my video, the whole video, and you get it. But I just wanted you to know, you know, what you're getting into um so yeah i guess this is everything for today's video it was a very short video actually <laughs> so yeah if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up um yeah <laughs> so i guess i will see you in my next video bye